the Steam Deck. Honestly, the best way to play PC games handheld on the go. But what about when you get back home and you want to hook it up to a monitor, add a mouse and keyboard? How are you going to do that? Well, that's where this comes in. The Steam Deck Dock. Let's check it out. This is the box that it came in in the mail. It's a very generic brown box. There's no Easter eggs or anything fun in it like the Steam Deck box. But it is from Valve. So let's go ahead and open it up. To my surprise, it's actually a lot smaller than I thought it was going to be. It came wrapped inside of this plastic, I assume like weather protecting, inside of the cardboard box. Connect your deck, Steam Deck. It's got contents, has the docking station. That's it, you got the Steam Deck logo on it. And that's pretty much the box. There's not much going on on it. Anything else inside of the box? Okay, it does come with another power brick, which is good, so you don't have to use the one that came with your Steam Deck. And, uh comes with a little pamphlet. So that's all it comes with. Let's check it out. All right, so this is the Steam Deck dock. And first thing I gotta say is, this thing is tiny. It is a lot smaller than I thought it was gonna be. I don't know why I pictured it in my head as being larger, but it's very small. It is made out of plastic. I wasn't sure if it was gonna be made out of metal or not. On the bottom of it, there is a really nice kind of grip material, some sort of rubberized grip material, so wherever you place it, it's not going to really move around a lot. Especially when you put the weight of the Steam Deck on it, it's not going to want to slide off. Uh, there also is some of that same rubberized grip material on the holding port right here, where it's going to grab your Steam Deck as well. And now let's get to the ports of this thing, which is really where this thing comes into play. There is a display port. There's an HDMI port, there is a USB-C port, which is for the charging, which will power devices and this charge the Steam Deck as well. There is an Ethernet port for a wired connection, and there is three USB ports as well. There is also a wire coming out of the back of it, and that is for where you plug it into the Steam Deck itself. So it's pretty impressive that all of these ports come out of this one little USB-C port that you plug in the top of your Steam Deck. And now for using it with the Steam Deck itself. One thing that I want to test is I like this sort of plastic case that I have on my Steam Deck itself, but I feel like it's not going to work with the Steam Deck dock. Will not plug in fully. It will not engage if you have any sort of case on here. I mean, technically I could take a small little USB-C extender like this and attach it to the end of the cord on the Steam Deck dock. And then I can go in and take the Steam Deck in the case that I like and I can fit it inside of the little slot and it will sit in there, but it feels like it's gonna tip forward a little bit. But then once you go ahead and plug in uh, the USB-C cord, it kind of prevents it from tipping forward and then it will actually sit in there. But it doesn't fit and work perfectly and it doesn't work like that right out of the box. But without the case, it just fits like a glove. It does not lock in, it does just kind of pivot in there but I feel like it's not gonna really go anywhere. And then you just take the USB port and you plug it in on the top and it sits very flush with it. I do like how there is this sort of lifted area or this raised area so you can easily pop it out. So let's fill it up. Got the power, go ahead and plug in an ethernet, a wireless mouse, an external hard drive, keyboard, HDMI, and then display port. All right, let's turn it on. So right when I turned it on, I got an update for the docking station. I'm not really sure what that means, but I think that the docking station is smarter than I'm giving it credit for. <laughs> that is one thing about going with like an official Steam Deck dock that you'll have support from Valve themselves, including updates and such. So right off the bat, after the Steam Deck dock updated its firmware, I have two monitors inputted. I have an HDMI monitor and I have a DisplayPort monitor. I guess it defaults to the HDMI monitor. It looks like the Steam Deck itself has no screen going on. I am in the, the Steam Deck OS system. I'm sure once I switch over to the desktop mode, I'll be able to probably have multiple displays going. But let's just see what happens if I unplug the HDMI, if it's gonna automatically shoot over to the DisplayPort. 
and it just instantly shoots over to the display port. So it looks like it uses HDMI as priority and display port as secondary. Let's go over and change it to desktop mode and see if we can get two displays going. So right now with the Steam Deck dock, I got three monitors going, or actually two, and then the Steam Deck itself. Got like YouTube playing here, got my Steam library here. Then I could have like a VLC media player mover going on at the same time as well. Then you can see I have my external hard drive right here. If you want, you can go ahead and make this your game library, install all your games on here so that you can just play them directly on here and not have to worry about filling up your Steam Deck. You can just come home, plop it down on the Steam Deck dock, have your hard drive ready to go, which is super cool. And you can plug in any really USB item you want. Say you want to add a microphone, go ahead. Steam controller. No problem. How about custom made arcade controller so you can get really good at Metal Slug? How about just a little USB gamepad? Or even just the keyboard and mouse? Something that you do have to keep in mind with the Steam Deck dock is there is no physical 3.5 millimeter audio jack, so you can't just plug in like headphones or you can't just plug in a speaker system. So you're gonna either have to have a monitor with speakers or you're gonna have to have a monitor with uh, audio jack out. Or I guess you could just jack into the Steam Deck itself, just like plug it into the audio port on the Steam Deck. But it would be nice if the Steam Deck dock had its own 3.5 millimeter audio jack as well. So my final thoughts on the Steam Deck dock. It feels like it's really well built. I do like the rubberized grip on the bottom and in this middle section here that grips your Steam Deck very nicely. It is a tiny little unit for whatever reason, I expected it to be bigger. I really do like how it came with a power brick so you're not having to uh, decide whether you wanna leave your Steam Deck dock plugged in or you wanna charge your Steam Deck on the go. It's very ergonomic, is what I mean. The way that this stuff clips in, the way this clips in the Steam Deck, you can easily just flip it off. Like, it's it's a snug it's a snug fit. I'm not worried about it falling out or anything. The ports on the back, there is quite a good amount of ports. Uh, I really like how there's the ethernet in case you wanna play multiplayer games, you wanna have good internet connection, or you wanna download your game library very fast. I do wish that there was uh, a USB-C port, another one that wasn't just for the charging. And I do wish that there was a dedicated 3.5 millimeter audio jack as well but I guess you could just plug into the top of the Steam Deck itself because the Steam Deck has an audio jack. Uh, one thing I will say is the con this thing is very expensive for what it is. You could literally trade four of these for a Steam Deck around something like that which is kind of crazy if you think about it but overall it's a cool piece of technology. It's great that you can just set it up on your desk. It doesn't take a lot of real estate. You can just set it up with your keyboard, your mouse, your hard drives, your devices, your printers, your whatever you want. You can just have it set up so that when you come home, you can just plug in your Steam Deck and plug in one cord and not have to worry about rummaging around through all your wires to plug in all of your peripherals. So that is pretty much the benefit to this thing. Anyways, I hope this video was helpful to you. Hopefully it helps you decide if you want the Steam Deck dock or not, or hopefully you just learned something. Anyways, hope Hope you enjoyed and I'll catch you all in the next one. All I know is the Steam Deck looks pretty sweet on the Infinity Monitor.